What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be something a little bit different. We're taking a break from the maintenance on the M3 and we have a new mod to install. If you saw my previous video, I had mentioned that we received a package that we'll be doing an unboxing for this week. The day has finally come. Yay. <laughs> the cool thing about it is the package is actually from Poland. We recently did a collaboration with a company called DeFox Design. It all started a few months ago when I had posted a picture on Instagram showing the current steering wheel that's on the M3 and how like really worn it is. And DeFox actually reached out to me and was willing to do a collaboration on a steering wheel that'll essentially be the start of the interior detailing series for the M3. So before we do the unboxing, I'm gonna show you guys the current steering wheel that we have. So as you can see, the Alcantara itself is really bad. It was worse, but we actually cleaned it. And then you can see, look at this part right here. Yeah, so the plastic's pretty like worn down. The paint's like coming off. We have like the racing stripe, if you want to call it, the steering wheel stripe, and it's yellow, but that's getting worn down. And after having it for a while, me and Giraffe both agreed that the stripe's cool, especially when it looks like brand new, but we're kind of over the stripe look and we kind of wanted to do something different. As you'll see with the unboxing, we were able to customize the materials and the stitching and everything that was used along with their signature steering wheel design. Not only are we going to be doing an unboxing, but we're also going to do like a DIY install video so yeah let's go check it out so Jurat's gonna be doing the honors of opening up the box so we got a box from air just <laughs> hopefully I don't cut the steering wheel guys I know I don't think you will is this the way that you open it <laughs> is it it should be moment of truth uh, wow look at ooh. how nice oh, look the, at that. Uh, what is it oh this is just a foam like a premium. Oh, 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 wow. oh. Actually, the, the packaging is really nice. Yeah. Look at that. So, Holy. There we go. This looks so good. As you can see, they properly packaged everything. So there's a lot of thick foam in here. So the steering wheel was not gonna get damaged in shipping. And knowing that it came all the way from Poland with not a scratch on it, it looks so good. Damn, this is gonna be such a big difference when we install this compared to what we have right now. So to kind of go over what we customized on it, we wanted a very simple and clean looking steering wheel. It's the Alcantara all around. Also, this plastic piece is no longer painted. It's actually wrapped in Alcantara. And one thing that I didn't realize is even the back is Alcantara. So instead of the leather here, that's normally on the OEM ones, this one is literally just all full Alcantara. You honestly, you can't go wrong with too much Alcantara. It's gonna look so good once it's inside the car. Here's a little sticker. This is the company. I'll have all their information linked down below. So you can go ahead and check them out. Shout out to everyone over at DeFox Design. I've been talking to them for a few months now. They basically turned what we wanted into reality. And you could tell that they use really high quality Alcantara on the same wheel. It's very amazing to feel and everything the texture too it's even thicker huh it is a little thicker yeah so one thing they do that's really cool that i that i liked is as you can tell from the normal oem one is it's fully round so the whole thing is circle but with this one you have that flat bottom design basically the d-shaped steering wheel and then right here if you can if you can see it has like an indentation basically when you're gripping the steering wheel like this it's a lot more comfortable holding that one than this one so one issue that i had with the oem steering wheels is i more commonly grab the steering wheel at this position and it's not as comfortable because of the way it's like shaped right here and then now the difference being how this is made a little bit thinner and it comes forms to your hand position and the thumb I feel like it's gonna make a huge difference when driving a car so I'm super excited to get this on so now let's get rid of that old nasty steering wheel and let's get this beautiful new one right in so obviously the first thing that we're gonna want to do is open up the trunk we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal and all it is is that 10 millimeter nut and the purpose of doing that is because we're gonna be working with the airbag and so we don't wanna have any power going to the car while we're messing with things the airbag just sets off. And then once you have it disconnected and pulled off, you can go ahead and just wrap it in a towel just to make sure that the cable doesn't touch the terminal, just like that. And then now comes the tricky part. So what happens is there's these slits in the steering wheel on both sides, as you can see right here and right here. You're gonna to wanna to grab a screwdriver, insert it into one of those slots like so and then looking from inside here this is what you're going to want to move you're going to want to push this in until you feel around that you can press up against this metal pin this is going to be the hardest part so you see how this pin is moving can you see it moving yeah. Pressing against this is what's going to release the airbag as you're doing that you're going to kind of want to lift up on the airbag just so it 
pops the clip off. And the good thing about this is when we did the airbag recall, they kind of installed the airbag a little crooked, so we get to fix that too, so that's a plus. I got mine. You did? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look, Droth's doing it with one hand, holding the camera. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> it's actually a one-man job. Yeah. Droth's able to do but this. I got one hand, one free hand, so. Let's see. There we go. Just like that, and it's just gonna pop out. And then with a flathead, you can go ahead and insert it from the rear right here, and then on this side, and then that's gonna go ahead and unlatch so you can disconnect. Perfect. So after that's all done, we're practically almost done. All we have to do is unscrew this so that we can remove the steering wheel. And then with that, you're gonna use a 16 millimeter. Oh, there you go. You can screw that off by hand. So one trick I would do is put the bolt back, thread it only a little bit so that when you pull off the steering wheel, it doesn't go flying and then you just like hit yourself in the face. And actually before we pull it off, there's these two other cables that we can go ahead and disconnect. So you can go ahead and just, oh, that was easy. That was a little too easy. Unscrew this bolt, pull the steering wheel right off. So just so we could do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two steering wheels. We've got a gray steering wheel. As you can tell, the old steering wheel is also black Al Alcantara, but it's used and abused. It is basically gray now. And then you have the fresh black Alcantara. It's going to help out the interior and make it look brand new, much basically. Nicer. It's so much nicer. And then while we have this exposed, obviously go ahead and wipe down because this is going to be a little dirty and dusty. So one thing that's helpful is when installing the wheel, you'll see this line that's indented right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna match that up with the line that's in the steering wheel. There's a line right there. So both of those lines are gonna match up. Make sure that line matches up so you get the correct position. And it should look like this. Once those line up, you can go ahead and replug everything back in, starting with these top two. The white one goes on the right side black one goes on in the middle. And then we can go ahead and bolt this up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab your torque wrench and set it to 46 foot pounds of torque. Boom. And then we can go ahead and install the airbag. So obviously green goes to green, black goes to black. And then you press down on the tab to secure it. Press it down. That's pretty much it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is make sure it's nice and centered correctly and then evenly put pressure on both sides. Clipped in, perfect. It's very satisfying. Oh man, that looks so much better too. And just like that, it's installed. There's no more huge gap on one side for the airbag. Oh man, I already know. <laughs> you can already tell it looks so much better. And then lastly, what we can do is just reconnect the negative terminal. So with that, just go ahead It's a little bit sparky, sparky. Reconnect. All right, I almost died. Tighten it down with that 10 mil. All right, make sure it's tight. Yep, perfect. We definitely have to go on a little test drive right now to see how it feels. Since you already <laughs> have the key, I'm gonna let you do the honors. So first impression, I can lock my, uh, my thumb right at the exact position. It's like, it made for your thumb. Right, it feels a lot different. Yeah, and I feel like this is gonna be so good on a track too, so you can lock your, you know, your position in the, in the, on the steering wheel. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. It looks so good. Because the thing is, like, I have the uh, Alcantara steering wheel on the wagon too. This feels a lot better. The, the flat bottom is really helps a lot with the, uh, you know, getting stuck with your legs. But that's actually helped a lot, so I like it. So how does it feel? It feels nice. Is it, you feel like it's a big difference compared oh, to yeah. the other one? Yeah, this one's like changed. Very, very good. Now we gotta get his reaction, because he I drive know. this car the most. All right, now it's my turn. You guys gonna get more reaction by this guy, Let's since see. he drive this car the most. Oh man, we're not even driving. This already feels a lot better. Damn. I'm afraid to get this dirty. I gotta keep it clean. No, so you gotta like, wash your hands. I know, every, <laughs> every time, every time, you gotta get some hand sanitizer. No lotion, no nothing on your hands. Keep them hands clean so you don't get the Alcantara dirty. But it's gonna be easy to clean anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. We gotta keep this steering wheel nice and fresh. All right, let's go. Oh, dude, no way. Told you. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, this feels so good. Damn. Damn, that feels really good. Feels a lot better. The fox, though. you killed it. It feels so good. Yeah, this is gonna make a huge difference in not only like looks, but like performance wise, like driving wise, it's so much more comfortable. It feels like, it, it'll definitely give you that little boost of confidence just because it just feels more comfortable in your hand. So, oh yeah, this, this is nice. I like how it's that mixture, even though like with the way it looks, it's that mixture of like luxury and sporty. So that's what we're trying to go for because we obviously have like the full Alcantara and then we have, you know, the classic M stitch. You know, we didn't want to go too crazy with stripes or extra carbon fiber. We just wanted to give exactly how it explained that very luxurious, but sporty look and feel. And I think that's exactly what we got. I honestly couldn't ask for more. good it's yeah. crazy it makes such a big difference I honestly wasn't even expecting it to be this much of a difference but like I'm not even over hyping it like the steering wheel just feels it feels right big time this is how if only these if only it came like this from the factory And the thing that I like is like the detail and the, the brand in the back. Oh yeah. I can appreciate the subtle like branding that they did right there. They did like a stamp onto the Alcantara. So that's a nice touch to be honest. Now the thing is the steering wheel looks too good. Now we have to clean up the rest of the interior. So obviously as you've seen before, we'll have, we're gonna be redoing all of the interior trims, clean that up. And then now that since this is yellow, probably just temporarily just dye this fully black and just so it matches the Alcantara um, e-brake boot. And this is how it looks. Damn, that looks actually really good. Even up close, they have such an attention to detail. There's no stray threading. All the seams look really, really good. Everything just, it's on point. So they did a very, very good job and it came out amazing. So if you want a really nice custom steering wheel, they do all sorts of steering wheels, not only just for BMW E46s, they do all other BMWs and all other models. Just contact them and they'll walk you through the whole process. I'll leave all their information down below. If you hit them up about a custom steering wheel, make sure to mention my name, Gino Foster or No Rutch, either or, and they'll be more than happy to take care of you guys. So with that, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And if you were to do a custom steering wheel, how would you customize it? Let me know down below. I'm curious to know what you guys would do. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.